How's it going, YouTube? I've dug out the Milwaukee jacket and my MR2 t-shirt. That can only mean one thing, can't it? Let's do a video on the MR2. Right, it's been a while, so we need to do a bit of slow motion and a bit of music, don't we? Right, I'm not going to do a lot today, I'm just getting set up and this is a bit more of a, a test video because I've got a bit of space now I've set up. We want to have a quick look around that, a quick, quick look around the car, what I want to do and basically this video I'm testing out just to make sure the sound and the light and everything's okay in here so we can do a bit of work. I've got a few bits to do that we're going to have a look at just have a quick look around in preparation for doing more of the videos that we used to do where working on the cars this one and the camper but mainly the MR2 in here as I said a minute ago I thought it right to break out the red jacket because I always used to have this one on didn't I when I was working on the car I did have an animal hat as well but I've kind of misplaced that BC Racing very kindly sent me a replacement because I lost my hat but this is a bit more of a young lad style I'm getting a bit old and grey for that sort of thing so we'll leave it up there and put it there so we can see it that's a nice cap right, I've been getting this area set up sorting all the tools out and everything getting them ready I've been sorting out the paint gun because I left this in a bit of a state from last time I used it so I completely stripped that down and now it's got a nice spray pattern because one of the things I want to do is change the colour of the car again. There's all the compressors set up ready so we can actually do that. I've got a bit of space in the garage down there so I'm going to do the car a panel at a time. I can take my time and do a decent job of it. I can't fit the car in this space but we can get a bit of it in. As you've probably noticed we've got a new spoiler there, we'll have a look at that in a second. Right, let's have a quick look around the car and see how it is now and I'll tell you what things I want to do for a start. One of the first things I want to do is get this grey. Over here I've already bought uh, some made up paint, this is Indium grey that's made up and then we've got some lacquer to go on. I've got another sun visor from Status Era to go on, I bought this ages ago so we need to get that to go on. Got some new air fresheners as well because mine ran out. So I want to make sure that's grey so it matches through because it looks a bit odd at the minute. It's got the black bit there and then that's grey and then this is grey. The major thing I want to do is get the whole car this colour. So I want to change it to that grey. So I'm going to take these panels off a panel at a time and paint them this Indian grey. So the whole car will be that grey. With exception some black bits on it that we'll we'll sort out later what we're going to do right this car has currently got the luxury parts monocraft x mark one or version one body kit on that's going to stay on there but i thought i'd just tell you that's the kit that's on there these vents are homemade vents right, i'm going to do something with a wheel color but i don't know what yet it's probably it might stay like a bronze or i might go white or something comment below what you think that'll match this gray nicely black looks good but it also looks like a big black circle you, you kind of lose the definition of the wheel but we'll get those powder coated and we'll do those to match the gray right on the back we've got the ropey racing wing the ropey racing vent I'm going to take the wing off. You'll see on the back we've got the custom crash bar from Ropey Racing. I don't know if you can see, it's a bit dark. So these little bits are going to stick out. I'm going to leave those on. So if I want to put this wing back on, I can. But for normal day-to-day -day driving, we're going to have the new spoiler. So I'm going to back the car into the garage and we're going to take this off now. Actually, before I do that, I've had it on charge here. Just ticking over i've got this new charger i got this from top don 
This is actually a Top Don Tornado 4000. This is a really nice charger actually. Uh, the repair mode is also like a condition mode. So you can leave it on repair and it, it just conditions the battery and just keeps it ticking over for when you're storing in winter. So I'll put a link below where I got that from if you want so you can, you can have a look at it. It's quite nice. For the opposition, we don't do this for mass appeal. Mm, don't make me blast it still. I put in work, no fly to the mirror. They want me to lose, but I can't. I'ma shed like a thousand tears. I can't do that shit to waste. I pull up in Mercedes. Next year, you gon' see me pull up in the race. All I know is ball hard. Mama told me, boy, make sure you tired the lace. Hey, when I was down by a boy, I got on my knees, I started to pray. Now I'm breaking bread with my young Betty Wiz. It was a part of the game. Yo, now we get paid every single day. Yeah, I was hustling. I could turn an eight to a 28. Let me show you. There we are, cars in. It's actually the first time I've reversed it in here, so let's have a look at it. That's actually not bad. We're obviously not all the way in, so we can't close the door. I've dropped it down a little bit, because I'm just thinking what it would be like in winter if it's raining or something. But that's not bad at all. We've got the back end in, which would give us enough room to work around the engine if we wanted to, or I can spin it around and bring it in the other way if we wanted to work on the front end of the car. Which is perfect and for painting I'm literally I'm going to take the panels off so I'll take this bumper off I'll bring it in here I'll get one of those little workmate bench things and we've got the compressor so we can sand it down and then spray it I think I'll put some like tarpaulin up here or you know like a shower curtain or something just to separate this half off from that half so we're not covering everything in dust so much and I need to get like a little extractor fan or something so I'll figure that out later. But for now, I want to take off this wing and then I'll show you this new spoiler that we've got. We've got a new steering wheel as well, which is nice. I haven't even done anything yet and I'm already too hot. If you guys want one of these t-shirts, it's in my Teespring store. You won't have moobs like mine's got, but it'll look all right. Right, below all these cobwebs, we've got three nuts and bolts either side. So I'm going to take those off, take off this wing and that'll empty the back up a little bit. It'll actually allow me to walk past the car as well, probably. I've even got a bit of carpet to put out. This is full luxury, this now. I'm too old to lay on concrete. reason the nut was spinning so I've had to cut the nut off but you can see now I've got all the nuts off and you can see now the adjustment in this wing which is quite good so it's got a lot of angle of attack so you can adjust it forwards and backwards there and then obviously you can adjust the top angle here so there's quite a lot of adjustment within the wing There we are, that's the wing off, so now it's just a bare back end. We've got this spoiler over there, we'll have a look at that in a second. One of the other things I want to do is this diffuser that I made. I want to take that off because I've seen a Lotus one that looks a bit more proper rather than homemade. So eventually I'd like to get that one and get that one down there. And I'd also like to build a new exhaust. There's a million things I'd like to do. But what we definitely are going to do is that spoiler there. This is a JDL ducktail, this one. I didn't want the normal Toyota ducktail because the Toyota ducktail, for me, it comes, it sits on here and it comes straight out. So it's a bit more subdued, which is okay for the stock car, but not so much for this one. The JDL one, you can't actually buy this anymore, so I'm sure I'll get a million questions about it. The JDL one, it sits on the, on the engine lid and it's got a lot more angle of attack. So if I try and get that to fix on, let's see if I can fix it on with something so you can see. Right, there we are, I've masking taped it on. If we have a look from down here, you can see the angle. It sticks up nicely. 
So it's a nice little spoiler, finishes the back end off. I can also fit that behind the wing so the wing can still sit up here if I want the wing on. That should finish off the back end nicely just for everyday driving. That should be quite nice on the back end that. We get all this grey. I want that, I need that grey, so I need to get myself a little workbench first. What I actually ought to do while I've got this taped on is try and get some fixings in if I've got some bolts. I bought this for a job I did on the camper. This is a little nut riveter, so I can drill the back and put these little nut rivets underneath the spoiler so I can get some, I think these are M6 these ones, so if I can find some bolts I can drill those and get the spoiler so it fixes onto the back. Right, I've just looked through all my piles of little boxes and stuff and I've found some fixings here that go in these, uh, I think blind nuts or nut rivets or whatever you want to call them. So I can fix them into the spoiler and then we can get something to bolt to. I've got four of them so that should be plenty. I think it's a M8, maybe. I'm sure that's an M8 that we have to drill it out to for the M6 nut rivets we'll find out in a second so i'm going to put some more tape on this and then i can lift the engine lid up and we can have a look where to get some fixings obviously we need to get them far enough away from this front lip because this will be too thin and the bolt will come straight through so it wants to be at the back edge somewhere or halfway i can put some sealant under it anyway to hold it on we just need something that's going to pull it in nice and square so i'm going to see if i can get this square and tape it on a bit better so it holds before i lift it up all right there we are that's taped on under these little rubber bits here there is actually a space there where we can get some fixings which i believe is from the original tte type mounting points so i can i can drill through there and get some mountains that gives me two anyway one there and one there the same i'll keep that square while i drill through and then it gives me an eight mil hole this time so i've got a little bit of movement up and down and then an eight mil hole in the spoiler which i can fit the blind nut into all right it's not the thickest point where it is i might have to cut down the bolts a little bit but the the nut rivet should go in fine let me drill through there with some holes and we can get some mounting points then i'll just take off this tape that we've got on and then we can get these blind nuts on them. It is possible that the bolts I've got are a bit too long anyway. We'll find out. There we are. There's the holes through, we can fit the blind rivets into there and it'll give us something to bolt down. Now I'm probably gonna to have to cut these bolts down a little bit because they don't go all the way in, look. But these blind rivets, they literally, you just pop them into the hole. I think this is a bit tight actually, so I'm, I'm gonna play with this one to get them in because I don't know if eight mil's the right size anyway. It's stuck in there now, I didn't really want it to be stuck in yet, but it is. What you normally do with these is you put the, the blind nut rivet on there first stick it in the hole and then you squeeze it and it squashes it up like a normal rivet as you can see but because this one's stuck in the hole i'm gonna to have to get that in but when you when you wind this this way it kind of unwinds that so i've i've got to take this to pieces a little bit and wind this wind this end off and then screw it on and do it the way that you're not really supposed to do it that's tight up, that's ready. So I squashed it up. I need two hands to do it. That's squashed all the way up now. So now I need to unwind this and then that'll take the rivet back out. There we are. That's in nice and tight and that's now a fixing point. Done. Right, I've cut down a couple of bolts. I've got some little rubber washers there as well that I can put behind. Here's one thing with the quality of the spoiler. 
they're riveted in. Right, this one, it's, it's, it's quite thin between there and there. That one, the rivet just fitted in. This one, before it was crushed down, it wouldn't quite fit in. So I've had to drill all the way through. Now it's crushed down and I can fill that afterwards. So that's not an issue because the, the general quality of this is pretty crappy anyway. So it needs a good bit of filling and sanding here and there. I'll just fill in that one as well while I'm doing it. But it, it just shows that it's only it was only a few millimetres, but it was enough to stop this rivet going all the way in. But I just took that little bit out and it's, it's all right now. So I'll get that bolted on. I don't know if you can see properly, but I've put the bolt through. Then I've got the little rubber washer there. And then that'll compress nicely to hold it on. And it won't go rusty or anything where it's bolted then. Right, there we are. I'll cover those back up for now. We've obviously got to take this off and paint it and then mount it properly, but... That'll do for now, just to, just to see fitment. There we are. That fits quite nicely on there. Nice. I need to find a home for this wing. I'll probably hang it up or something, but I need to find a home for that. At least when this spoiler's on, actually, I can get round the car better. I could probably... There's enough room to reverse the entire car back in. I don't need to, but there is. As I say, I'm not doing a great deal today. Just putting that spoiler on just to see see how it looks. I need to take it off and paint it. Uh, I need to get myself a little workmate bench. Well, I've got this new steering wheel as well, so let's have a look at this steering wheel before we go. Right, here we are. This is a nice re-trimmed stock steering wheel. It's got the nice red stitching. We've got a nice red center point. I think that looks nice. I'll show you what's in there now. Right, it's getting a bit dark outside. In there now I've got this Momo Competition Evo steering wheel. I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to put that one on. I'm not going to get rid of that one yet until I've decided that I definitely want to keep it like this. But to be honest, I want the whole car a bit more MOT friendly as well. This one's got an airbag which makes it a lot safer as well. So I'm going to go for that look for a bit. This is not built as a track car as such so i want to get everything a bit more subdued but still looking aggressive so to be honest that's it for today we're just having a quick look around quick quick look what we've got a quick look what i want to do i've got somewhere to do it now as well so we can slowly have a bit of a play with this especially over winter so we've got a bit of time next video i want to get this spoiler painted and on and i want to get the surround around the windscreen on get the new sun visor on as well so we can see what that looks like the main purpose of this video was really for me to see what it sounds like in this garage and see what the lighting's like because it's getting dark now as well so I want to see that I can do this in the evening and it still looks all right on the video. So if you want to see more of this car, I'll stick a link up actually for a video I've done with a full rundown of the spec of the car for anybody that's not seen it. If you want to see more of it, then subscribe to the channel, like the video, because that helps a great deal to get this out there. And we're going to start doing some stuff on this again. Hopefully we'll do some interesting bits and see how it goes and we'll make this look nice, ready for next summer. So I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.